Right everyone, in this video what I'll be doing is a similar test to my last video but this time I'll be doing it with the Horizon Redback pistol crossbow Now this is the £80 version of the Redback, you can get a £50 version So what I'll do is show you the footage now and then we'll talk a bit about it I'll start from one again. I'm just going to try turning the bacon trays around, see if that makes a difference. I'm not sure why it would, but I'll try it anyway. So yeah, I thought that was quite interesting. Using the standard bolts and the broadheads made by Weapon Collector, both times it would only penetrate two bacon trays. But the strange thing about it, in my opinion, is both the standard bolts and the broadhead would go a decent amount through one bacon tray, but then it just wouldn't go through a second one. The broadhead went through you know a few centimeters but barely 
So that was quite strange, I thought, because with the Horizon Raid Elite, the full size crossbow, you would gradually see like the penetration get less and less for each bacon tray. But with this, it was like it would penetrate, you know, pretty well, and then it wouldn't at all. Like literally from one to two bacon trays, there was a big difference. So I'm not sure what's causing that. Maybe the bolts don't have enough weight to, you know, keep going. Or can I even try flipping the bacon trays around see that make a difference? So I've no idea, but quite interesting. But you can see the power this crossbow does has when it hits one bacon tray, you know. It re it goes through it like like it's nothing really. I'll be honest, I thought the broadheads might have been able to penetrate more than two bacon trays, but I don't think it's like because of a lack of power. I think it's more the weight of pistol crossbow bolts. But yeah, quite interesting results and quite surprising. Obviously, field tips are meant to sort of stop in targets, so I can sort of understand that. I should point out as well, um, in the previous video I'd done, they were field tip bolts I was using in that. And that, you know, you saw how well that crossbow done. That managed to get through five, I think, five bacon trays. So, you know, but, you know, a pistol, sorry, a rifle crossbow bolt is like three times the size of a pistol uh, crossbow bolt. So, would have a lot more weight, and that's probably why, and obviously the crossbow itself is more powerful, but, yeah, quite interesting results, I thought. It wasn't quite as impressive as I thought it would have been, to be honest, but, you know, it is what it is. The footage doesn't lie, as they say, so, but don't get me wrong, I will still recommend one of these pistol crossbows. Going through bacon trays is, you know, it's not as easy as you think it would be. Like rifle crossbows can do it because of the power of them and the weight of their bolts. A pistol crossbow, you know, to even go through one bacon tray is pretty impressive. And you know, you, you saw the amount it would go through one bacon tray, so that's decent, you know, decent penetration for, you know, a pistol crossbow. So cheers for watching. Yeah.